is what we call approach. So the first thing is hitting, being able to hit the ball. If you're a little guy, you hit the ball all fields. Be able to hit it over the center fielder's head, over the second baseman head, and the left center as a contact hitter. Then when you say hit for power, that means you hit the ball out of the ballpark. That means you're in there, Aaron Judge, Yankees. Y'all know who that is, right? He's what's considered a power hitter. You know, he can hit for power now. He's in the lineup to hit home runs. He's in to hit it out the yard. So if you hit it out the yard, you're going to strike out more. So therefore, a hitter and a hitting for power are two different responsibilities in batter's spot. You're looking for something to drive out of the ballpark as a power hitter. Then you, I said hitting, hitting for power, fielding. Fielding is, is, is how you feel the ball. If there's a run on base, there's certain ways in the outfield you round the ball to get under the ball to have your weight behind you when you're coming toward to throw the ball toward home plate or to throw the base. You can't throw it, you can't catch it flat footed and throw it. You gotta round the ball, get your weight behind it, and you gotta make good strong throws. When we're doing a major league trial camp, we put all the outfielders in right field. And we'll have them throw the ball back into home plate because that's the longest throwing it in, from the outfield is home plate. And you judge their arm strength. How many of them can make it to home plate from the outfield on the, on the fly? How many of them can make it on the bounce? And the older you get, your arms will be stronger. It's not going to be at 14, 15, 16 as strong as it is at 17, 18, 19. So we, we, we follow your progress arm strength. And then you take the infielders and you put them all at shortstop in the hole. That's the longest throw on the infield is shortstop. And when you put them in a hole, you hit a ball at them. They want to the left or to the right at them. And you watch their body control, how they feel the ball, how they approach the ball. You can see all that in their footwork. And then you evaluate their arm strength, how strong they make the throw across from shortstop to first base. That's when you're evaluating the tools of fielding. And then you have running. Now, it used to be back in the day where we had a stopwatch and everybody ran a 60-yard dash. They put the markers out there, and that's 60 yards is 180 feet. And if you ran a 6.9 or better, that was considered average major league speed. Now, guys just run today. They don't know what they do. I don't know if they time or not, because I've seen some guys can't run in the big leagues. They can't run, but they in the big leagues. So those are four to five tools. Hitting, fielding, throwing, running, and hitting for power. Those are the tools. And then pitching, you look for pitchers that have velocity. He might start off the game in a nine inning ball game with a hundred mile hour fastball. And that's good. But in scouting, you go from the first inning, third inning, sixth inning, seventh, eighth inning, see how long he can hold that velocity. Because you go lose velocity on your pitches, or when I say velocity, speed. They're not going to be as fast as you go through the course of the game and a course of the season, pitching out of everyday rotation. Then you look for the movement, the life of the pitches, fastball, curveball, changeup, and control. You look for those things. So those are some of the things scouts look for in a ball player. But more importantly, they look for dedication, look for hard work, and they look for commitment. Because I see and I talk to major league ball players, and they'll tell you, from major league, to high school, to college, to little league. The game is no difference. It's the same game. The only difference is the game become quicker, the competition become better, you eliminate the ones that can from the one that cannot. That's the only difference in the game. And as I would always tell my guys, if you want to play on the college level, you want to play on a major league level, you got to eat, drink, and sleep this game. You got to leave the girls alone. They'll be there. They'll be there. I had plenty of ball players they, when, when I was coaching college ball, high school ball, they was in love. Couldn't tell them not. Two years later, they ain't with the girl no more, and they ain't in baseball no more. Now, I know y'all ain't worried about no girls, but uh, y'all ain't got to worry about that problem, do y'all, coach? Okay, not yet. Give them a couple more years. They go fall in love, and Susie go, Susie go tell you, you can't play baseball no more if you love me. All of a sudden, coach, I don't think I want to play no more. I didn't experience it all 40 plus years. So again, I come out here to introduce you guys to scouting, 
what scouts look for, and opportunity to play baseball on another level. And you got to have some talent, you got to have some ability, and you got to work your way. And, and, and you got to be careful now because everybody today running showcases and clinics charge you hundreds of thousands of dollars and you ain't getting nothing out of it. You ain't get nothing out of it. You're looking for the best of the best when you're at the scout. So when you got that ambition, that desire to play baseball, you got to work toward it. You got to work for it. You got to get up and go to the cages. How many of y'all go to the cages? Not with your coach on your own to hit. You can get a tee, hit off the tee in your backyard, in your basement. Not a ball. We don't want y'all breaking no windows and then y'all mamas and daddy looking for me saying, Coach said get a tee, you hit off the ball. I didn't say that. I said get, get a wiffle ball. Get a wiffle ball and hit off of it. Ain't gonna break down with that. Tell all your family and friends when they're watching it to hit that subscribe button. We need a thousand subscribers. The Midwest Baseball League will be holding open tryouts for baseball players looking for a team. Chasing that dream of playing on the next level? The Midwest Baseball League is looking for the best of the best. For tryout dates and locations, visit a league of our own 247.com. That's a league of our own 247.com. A league of our own 247.com. To see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.